Hello everybody! I am Liz Benton and welcome back to episode 3 of my Astronia Let's Play series. Um, I dug through this wall. There was an awful lot of um, quartz in it. Uh, so we know where to get quartz for the near future, but just over here somewhere, let's bring up the compass again, there's a box. Aha, here it is, just up here. Right there. Now, I do believe it needs explosives to be opened. Uh, let's get back a little bit. And... Detonate. Fire in the hole. <laughs> Alright, what's in that? What was in there? Did we find out? There's a, ooh, there's a medium generator over there. Can I pick it up? Let's take the carbon. Let's scan that. And we're going to take this back upstairs with us. Because a free one of them is always nice. They're the next tier of generator. Oh, uh, no. It dropped all the way down there, didn't it? We're going to have to go on a rescue mission for that later. Uh, but for now, let's head back upstairs. Because I've done all of the work that I said I would. Um, and I'd like to show you what I've done, so let's get going. To run these medium generators, we'll actually need a slightly more sophisticated automation system than what we've got over here. Um, because it burns carbon, and carbon is cooked ceramic. So let's just leave that there for now. Um, we'll leave it off. And first up, we want to research. Ooh, what did we have? There was the solid fuel for thruster. There was... Hmm, ah, uh, the um, packager. And I would like this leveling block to see what it does. I need soil to build one of them. So that's probably a canister full of soil which I don't quite have, but I wonder if I can create one. Not quite. So let's put that back on the drill and dig up a tiny bit more soil because I would love to see how this thing works because it would be super duper helpful for uh, building. Alright, where's something Somewhere I don't really care about the land, right here. Okay, I'll put the wall here. Alright, that's full. Alright. Wrong button. That one. Let's build this. And find out what it does. Creates terrain that aligns to the voxel grid. Huh. Alright, interesting. We'll come back to that because I really, really want to get to another planet um, first up. So, what are we actually going to want? We're going to want these two for sure because once we get there, we're going to need some more power. Um, and we've got now fuel thruster. No, we haven't printed that yet. And for that we need two ammonium. Alright, zoom me out. One and two. And we're going to get the printer in a second. So, oh, sorry, it needs one aluminium. That's right. Um, let's print. And we're going to see what it's like on another planet. Hmm? Backpack full. Alright. Nice. Now, before we go, let's see what... You know, quests we have. 
We get three exochips for that. Plonk. Uh, that gets us an extra little RTG, a field shelter and a solid fuel thruster. Nice. That's actually a few things that will be quite useful. Let's... Uh, I'm just gonna clean things up real quick. In fact, that little RTG will be super helpful on another planet. Just click these over here. Does that mean I don't really need the small generators? I think so. They can stay here. I do want to take the field shelter and we will leave this here, I think. Uh oh. What do you mean it's full? Oh, and I found some extenders whilst I was out exploring. But we're going to leave them here. Is there anything else I want? We have a light, we've got oxygen, we've got a soil canister, we have power. Um, I don't want the extenders. They can stay here. Those were extra extenders. Um, we're going to put the compound down here in the tethers. Excuse me. There we go. Um, we have one single tether, but that doesn't matter. That's going to stay here. Alright. We're going to launch. You ready? Launch to another planet. Whee! So, where did I say we were going? I forgot, didn't I? But this is the solar system, isn't this nice? So, as you can see, that's De Solo. Um, here's Kalidor, which has Malachite and Wolframite. We want Lithium, so that's Aatrox. That's, um, I mean, this game's idea of hard is a little bit relative. Uh, what did that one have? Uh-oh. Titanite and Hematite, and here's Vesania. I think that's where we were going to go. If you right click and hold, it gets you there. Lithium and Titanite, or. Nope. Nope. Uh, it's, it's Moon. There we go. Hematite or Lithium. Uh, I think that's where we want to go. Let's grab the Moon. And you got to be careful, you got to click on the right one, otherwise you're in trouble. <laughs> Alright, let's pick that one because it's right by its, um, you get to choose where on the planet you land. And we're going to choose the one that's right by the core here. So see that used two of our launches and 50% of our fuel. So let's get out. That wants a bit of power, but that's okay. Um, first up, we're going to get an... Well, that wasn't what I wanted at all. I wanted the compound for an extra set of tethers. So let's print that, and let's head off in this direction. So you can see we're kind of down in a valley. The terrain is different on all the different planets. Let's plonk this little fella down and connect him up. Is that enough power? Nowhere near enough. Does it need like a minimum amount? Yes, it does. Okay, so we can't charge that up yet. Ooh, a new plant. Let's go see what it is. Lash leaf. I think it smacks you, you know, from a distance. And it has these little geysery things. Alright. Let's get into the... Is it the caves we need to get into? We're on Novus. Hematite's in the caves and lithium is up in the mountains. Forested and cratered. So we want to get up into the mountains, so I think that's up on top up there. So let's climb the hill. 
个。Alright. Oh, we're dancing. Don't you worry about it. There we go. Ooh, someone's been here. There's some research. Um, so we can craft ourselves. Power cells? No. Uh oh. Packager. And we're going to take a few of these home with us. But there's a... and these work, you place them on whatever you want to package, and press F. Chomp. <laughs> um, but things can only be packaged down once, and if something has an inventory and the inventory's not empty, um, it will... See, that was 61 for what's on the surface. I've made my way... Uh oh, I've gone and got myself stuck. Hang on, there we go. If you ever get stuck, just dig yourself a deeper hole. Works every time. Excuse me. Uh, mouse, are you okay? Oh, there's a great big rock there. Alright. Uh, I just pulled out of this bit of wreckage here. Where is it? That thing. Which is pretty cool, and that looks like a research sample. Now, apparently in the mountains is where lithium is found, and I would argue that these are mountains. Oh, there it is right over there. It's got my favourite model, these globy things. But whilst we're here, let's make a couple more packages. We can grab these two. And we're actually going to set that little shelter down over there as well. I want to package that. I don't care at all about that organic. Uh-oh, we just lost it. Hang on, we have a pretty large reach. Ugh. Alright, um, I should lay out some more tethers, shouldn't I? Okay, let's choose a polygon. Say, that one. And we're gonna go that way. And then we can pick, say, that one. Maybe not quite. That one. Perfect. Ah, uh, wrong button. That didn't used to be a hotkey. Well, we're out on this side, at least. There we go. We're here. Okay, where do we need to be? Excuse me, where did it all go? Ah! The cat just came and tried to bite my knee. Excuse me, I could see it from the top of that hill. Oh, <laughs> it's right here. Alright, let's pick ourselves up. A little bit of lithium. And we want one more. And that was a quest. Nice. Wait, can we access our quests from here? Eyes on lithium. Alright, that was that one. Print a tractor. We want to get some tungsten. We can make a medium battery now. We can also make turbines and solar panels. We'll go back and talk about them. Shelter on another planet, place a landing pad on another planet. Well, we can certainly put down our little field shelter. Can I pick... Can I 
get this all linked up. Yeah, that's kosher. Nice. Alright, let's head back over here. Now, I did find a solar and a wind thing. Uh, let's get down here. Here we go. So this is our nice medium wind turbine and this is a medium solar cell. Uh, eh. Let's just toss these over the edge. You can't break things in this game, remember? Because um, I would like to make a little bit of a base here. We're going to set up the field shelter like right here. That's different to how I remember it. Nice! It has a little bit of power and oxygen. Let me out. Okay, so what I need to do is print, uh, do some printing here. So let's see what we need. A small printer is one compound. Alright, so that's that, uh, alright, printer, we're gonna need a, a little platform, which needs a resin, we're actually gonna need two platforms, now we did find some resin didn't we? My only issue is that this game occasionally has a little bit too much fog. <gasps> is that what I think it is? Let's take that with us as well. Is that a- yes! Alright. We're going to print ourselves, is that definitely the platform we want? Yes. Um, that will hold a wind turbine, I actually need more resin, haha. <laughs> go there. This one's going to get scooched over. Nice, that's a bit of base. Um, so, I actually would love Okay, medium generator, solar panel, turbine, medium battery. That needs quite a lot of bytes. 3,750. Um, so for now we're actually going to... Oh, I don't have a battery on me myself. Okay, well that's fine for now. Um, what I'm actually going to do... We're just going to try our best here. Say... Really? The 
Let's try that out. There we go. Let's see if this won't be enough power to turn the gateway on. Hey, alright, just keep pressing the wrong buttons. Perhaps when the wind blows real good it will. That's a little bit. Now we just gotta get the wind to blow real good. Not enough. This one needs a fair bit of power I think. Well, we know now that that's not enough. Okay, so let's head home. We want to take our little RTG. Oh. We're going to leave the Lapis Knight here. We want our little RTG. And let's go get ourselves one of these for now. Tethers can stay. Resin can stay. We're going to take that last graphite and make... One more packager. Let's quickly run out and find ourselves uh, another bit of research. There won't be one to- oh, that's another. There's a whole chest set, um, like multiple times over in the world, but um, we're gonna, you know, pick them up as we find them. That's another windy thing, which is useful. Well, we're just getting distracted now, aren't we? Whoa, that's um, Fasania over there. Because we're the moon, obviously. I'm just trying to find a cave entrance, by the way. So I thought we'd head back over here a little bit. There's our last bit of research. Let's head back now. Um, and then we'll worry about looking for a cave. Uh oh. Run, 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 don't stop. Nice. Oh boy. Um, I just thought I would dig myself down to the caves here. Because um, I wanted to see what they were like on this planet. I don't know if it's changed at all. But we've got to be a little bit careful. And I can already see some iron, which is nice. Uh, now, we've kind of flattened it. Oh, no, we haven't yet. Alright, let's just be careful here. Ah, see, that's the symbol for iron, and those pointy spiky bits are iron. Um, this is an odder type of cave than what we're used to. But let's just dig that out, and it might despawn. Give it a second. Alright, we've got our way down. Uh-oh, and we've run out of, um tethers so let's just be a little careful here all right let's dig that all the way down to the ground and here we are the caves themselves are actually pretty similar in construction but i would just like to see how much uh how many research points we get for researching something there's one Two hundred and sixty-six. I had to pause there to make sure I wasn't too loud in my excitement. Um, so that's pretty banger. Um, it might actually be worth farming a couple of thousand, uh, you know, research points. So let me run upstairs. I'm going to grab us some more compound and therefore more tethers. I've decided I like this little alcove here, so I'm going to actually make it to my base. So we're going to shift all this stuff over here in a little bit. But I actually just want to... Alright. Gimme. I'm hungry. Alright. Tethers. Let's get those printing. Alright, I'll be back in a little bit. I'm going to do some 
uh, farming for research. Oh, what a shame. I don't have any explosives. Boop. Hmm. Oh, that just popped straight open. That was nice. <gasps> that is a very nice research item. I'll have you all know. Um, and I've run out of graphite to pick it up with. Um, so we'll have to come back for that later on. So I think it might just be time to go home. All right, now we just have to, oh, well, that's much easier. Uh, you used to have to remember where your base was, but now that these markers are here, and that shows how long it has been since I have played this game. Now, the only problem with the solid fuel thrusters is that they leave behind salvage. So let's just leave it over here with some other salvage, um, and we will sort that out later. I unpacked this, by the way, because I just wanted to see how it operated. Can that reach... It can, it can reach this, that's nice. We're gonna use that for a fuel loading system. Okay, we have ourselves some lithium and we also have some research items. Let's start by getting these research items researching. Um, and these are worth, if we have a look at them, 1500 bytes. The one that we had on this planet were only a couple of hundred. So that's pretty dang cool. And let's just unpack all of those. And that's a spare solid fuel thruster. Uh, let me out. Um, we're pretty much, no, immediately going to head off again. Um, but first, let's have a look at what we've got. We get a thousand bytes for that. Um, we should go and do this. So, DeSolo or Calidor? Um, well, what does each of those have? planets. Um, DeSolo has Wolframite and Sphalerite. Um, that's Zinc and the Tungsten. Um, Kalidor was the other one. Or we get lots of Malachite and some Wolframite. So this might be the best place to go. We get a lot of sun. Um, so taking that little single solar panel with us. We're going to take that with us when we go. But for now, let's dump off a bunch of stuff. Like these, and these, and these two. And then we're going to get going again. That can go there. Oh, another thing I found in between um, episodes. <laughs> you can find a whole bunch of them. You can also build a few, but um, yeah. All right. We're heading off. Uh, I said Kalidor, didn't I? Malachite and Wolframite. Let's go. Oh my. That didn't load properly to start with. All right, let's zoom out. Um, let's speed up a little bit and see if there isn't one that's closer to a hub. That one's pretty good. That one's right on top of it. We'll go with this one. And see how different the land is on this planet as well. So these have some different plants yet again. These ones here make uh, stabby stabs. <laughs> so we actually really want to stay away from them. Uh, we have some pumpkins. Now I had some pumpkins on the home planet. And we're going to go back and have a look at them in a second because I grew a few. But first I want to dig this out and see if there's anything worthwhile in it. Just some extenders. Alright, so we can leave them here. And let's come back here. That's research. Oh no, that's another plant. But the research is this weird cactus looking thing. Also, how cool are the plants on this planet? This one, yeah, shoots missiles. <laughs> um, but that there's the research right there. Sp 
Spiny Atticus. Is that... Oh, it's a mutant one. Let's take that one. Um, so we're actually here specifically for the resources this time, not to set up any kind of little base. So let's pick up some compound and get going. Hey. Okay. Uh, now I think it said that Wolframite is up in the mountains. Yeah. Can stay here. That can get dropped out. One unit per second. That's not a lot. Um, and we want that, of course. And let's take this one as well. Okay. We're off. Go up around here, I suppose. Make ourselves a yeah, very nice. Oh, we ran out of soil. That can happen sometimes. Brought my um, drill mod with me, but I didn't think about that. <gasps> wow. That's pretty cool. All right, can we see what we're looking for? That's some graphite, so, oh, that's what we want, this stuff here in the ground. Um, is there any on the side of the chasm? No. All right, that's where we gotta go. You heard it here first, folks. Some. And some graphite. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, let's go this way. All right, we are out of soil. Uh-oh. How are we going to do this? Is that too far to fall? I think it is. That's another plant. Wheeze weed. What are we here for? Whoa. Nice. Wolframite, some graphite. We're getting everything, fellas. And ladies and anyone else who's watching. That's it, we're full up. Okay, we can take two items home with us. <gasps> the sky looks so pretty. Okay, let's make our... Uh... Packages. Let's go find ourselves some research to take home. <gasps> that was close. Let's see if we can slide. Nope, not quite. There is like a minimum angle you have to have to slide. Okay. There was one bit of research down here. And there's another bit over there. Uh, let's see if we can't pop open this thing over here, hey? Let's take the solar not enough not quite enough either hey Compound. Okay, we have an extra generator. Let's see if that's enough. If not, we can make another. Because if we get one of those good bits of research, um, not quite enough. Although once the sun comes up, that might do it. Let's wait for that, hey? So there'll be one extra bit of research that'll fill that slot, and then we've still got... Oh, we have two slots worth to fill. What do we fill? The... Oh, well, we've got our one RTG. 
We did lose our seed, didn't we? So we're gonna have to hopefully get this done soon. Actually. Let's just plant that there for now. I can dig it up in a second, unless it grows. Alright, here comes the sun. Nice. Hey, there we go, and we got exactly what we were hoping for. Let's pop that in there. We'll pick it up. And we'll take it with us. And we're gonna dig this up and take the seed with us. Alright, let's go. That should really be a two-click system. Once to select the planet and then once to travel. Um, Tis a slight floor. Uh-oh. There we go. <laughs> We're going a bit quick, hey? The full. And look, we've even got... Let's take this one out. That was the cool one. So this research item is worth two and a half thousand. Which is neato. We're going to go plant this over here as well. Because um, we have a garden of deadly plants. That lad's still growing. All right, let's come over here and see what I planted earlier. Actually, let's get our wolframite um, smelting up. One, two, three, four. Nice. Wait, but wait, there's more. Oh, it's all full. All right. We're going to have to do a little bit of an upgrade to our base in a second. Okay, so over here I grew a bunch of these pumpkins because I wanted to see what the dealio was. You know. Um, and they've all come out different sizes. That's a round sturdy squash. These three are all the same. This one's a knobbly sturdy squash. And that one's also a round sturdy squash. So like, this one's bigger. Ooh! Ooh! If not slotted or stored. And that's a growable. Okay, that one looks good. So let's grow this fella. Um, let's just quickly make ourselves a little, like, flat garden -y area over here. And we're just gonna even everything out here a little bit. And we're gonna pop him there. Look! He's got a little astronia symbol on it. Wow. Okay, what about the rest of these? That gave me a sample and a sturdy squash seed. So we're just going to plant that one here. See how the seed looks different? If I harvest this one, um, that's just a normal one. And that gave me a knobbly one as well. So let's pick up all of these. Oh, that one's yellow. Um, did that plant? Yes, it did. Okay, let's go pop this stuff in here and see what it gives us. Oh, nice. Can I pick that up? Oh, oh, oh. I absolutely can. That's just dangerous flora. Righto. Now, the bounce vines aren't actually dangerous on their own. They just make me go boing. Ooh. Well, let's cook up another bit and see what happens. And see what we can use it for. Um, very nice. What did that give me? Oh, that was the squashaline. That's fine. Okay. Mission log time. We've done that, and we get the schematic for the medium. I don't know exactly what that gave us. Find vehicle data recorder on DeSolo. <gasps> oh. We'll have to go back to DeSolo and have a look at that. Alright. 
printer medium battery and printer chemistry lab. Um, let's make the tractor just to knock it out. There it is. A thousand bytes and two aluminium. Tractor. Uh, we might need another rover seat for this, but that's cool. Also short on fuel. This guy's also a bit more useful. Uh, and I don't need a... I do need power. But I don't need... Okay. You want power? Let's give you power. Hey, he's pretty sturdy and a bit slower, so he handles the terrain better for sure. That's nice. This handles the bad terrain much better. Um, and the other thing that this gives us... Let's hop back out. What this gives us... Let's move our thingy away. We get a trailer. And the good thing about this is that you can connect a bunch of them together. Oh. There they are. And this guy... Hey, look at us go! So I can put, say... Uh... I don't know, a storage on there, perhaps, which is pretty neato. Let's park this to one side, take our power back. All right, let's pop the squashaline somewhere safe. Um, that I don't really care about. We'll let it despawn. I can print a packager. We've kind of already done that. We'll do that at some point. Um, medium battery requires a lot of things. Now, um, we actually do have to do some researching. We need to unlock the chemistry lab. We need the atmospheric condenser. And look, we have quite a lot of bites left. This is a bunch of new stuff I haven't seen before, by the way. I did want to unlock larger platforms. That's not really worth it, to be honest. <laughs> Oh, kind of, yes, no. Um, a medium resource canister might be a good one to get. Actually, let's... Okay, how does this sound? We're going to do... Uh, some better power works. So we've got the medium generator. We should unlock the medium battery. That needs one lithium, one zinc. We have a fair bit of lithium. Do we have any zinc on us? We have one zinc. So let's get some more zinc. Um, so I'm going to go down to the mines, get some zinc. And then I'm going to look at a better power setup because we have a uh, kind of... Oh, that's not attached. That's a very bad thing. Where is that untethered from? That's the one. Okay, that's all of our new zinc cooking up. Okay, so I want to make two medium generators and two medium batteries so let's uh cozy on up to our small printer we want one of these actually two of these uh we're also going to need a second smelting furnace so let's actually Try and attract the attention of this printer. Two resin and one compound. Are we out of resin? Let's go find some resin then. Here we go. We're going to make up another smelting furnace here. 
examine this and we want another medium generator. And then we're going to do the two batteries. We will also need another platform. Oh, maybe not. There's our smelting furnace. Alright, let's head over here and we will start sorting this out. Okay. So mostly we're just out of, you know, power f for these things. Fuel. There we go. Got it. Okay. That can go there. That can go over there. This can go here. We actually already have one medium generator, so that's uh, unfortunate. Um, but what we can do is put our two medium generators like so. Then we get our two batteries. We're going to connect that there, uh, and we're going to one there, and one there, and we want it to be charged or empty. That's the one, uh, and we can turn these on. Okay, now what we need is that auto arm over here. Hey, this thing's finished growing maybe? Is it going to attack me? Harmless flora. That's still growing. What does this do then? <gasps> we get two. What we need, um, obviously the furnace will uh, power itself, you know, uh, not power itself, will operate itself. So let's get this down here. Um, and basically we get to put these two here, we get to put that one on there. And I think we can actually Go something like that. Actually, let's do it something like this. I've got an idea. Get me out of the road and slide this on over a little bit. Uh, so what if I now put connect? That should work. Hey, that worked. And that should make um, the organic that we collect go a lot further. So let's go collect some. That was much easier than I anticipated it being. Clean up the base a bit. Um, and then we'll come back and decide what we're going to do next episode. How does that sound? Nice, good. Alright, see you in a little bit. We have done a big clean up here. Um, moved our power over here. I'm not 100% happy about that being there, but um, we'll figure something out. And now we get to put a new research item in. And I have gone ahead and we're going to make a chemistry lab here. So, oh no. Let's get that going. Um, and we'll pop it down here. Um, what else did I do? Oh, I printed out a alignment mod. Um, I researched and printed that to make the ground nice and flat in a proper way. And I made a junk pit. Um, so when we've got like a nice big mountain, um, we're going to shred it all and see what we get. So that'll be exciting. Now. We're about to find out um, what this is all about, but I've also made a medium battery. So I will get a large wind turbine and a large solar panel for free, which is um, pretty dang cool. I've never seen these items. So let's bring them over here to where we're making power. I'll also grab my alignment mod and I'll show you quickly how it works. Oop. And you can turn them on and off here. See, I can toggle. And they make a cool sound. 
All right. So, you can see now, um, there's dots. I think that's from the alignment mod. No, it's not. Never mind. Um, something was giving me extra dots earlier. All right. But when I click that and make it flat, as long as I keep, um, stopping and starting and doing small patches at a time, it keeps it level with the core of the planet. Um, so it makes a much nicer, flatter surface than if I didn't have it. It can also, if we come over here, um, if I press Alt and I'm facing away, I can make a flat wall. Which is... Eh, that's pretty cool, hey? Let's just, um... Oh, and a big problem with having the alignment mod turned on, you can't get walls normally. Um, so it's really a special use sort of thing. Uh, that ought to just about clean us all up and we'll just quickly tidy all that up. All right, now that we've got some more space, let's unpack both of these. All right, wind turbine first. <laughs> Does it need to be sitting on something? Hmm, that's a problem. Hang on a second. Oh no. Oh, it does. It That's a big chunky. Okay. I've got to stay away from this generator here. You saw the auto arm just gave me some carbon. I don't want that. Alright, and what's this like? Probably the same thing. It's got to sit on a... Dang. Well, we'll have to print out some platforms for them, but we don't need them right now. Um, we now have our chemistry lab. We're going to unpack this real quick and then we're going to spin it around because it's facing the wrong way. It makes the most pleasant ding um, imaginable. So we can make quite a few new items here. Um, and some of them have really unique, like special use cases. For example, rubber is mostly only used to make the bigger cars, or like trucks, I guess. Even I'd call them a truck. None of the none of your silly little pickup trucks. Um, we can make plastic, which is used for a couple of little things here and there. Um, we can make aluminium alloy, tungsten carbide, graphene that uses hydrazine, which is also used to power the rockets. So, um, and then we can also in here make, one minute, there's the hydrazine. So we need ammonium and hydrogen. Um, but the hydrazine is a much more efficient fuel, which is pretty cool. Um, we can make diamonds. Now diamonds are only used for, um, come on brain. Um, the third uh, drill upgrade for your here. See, that uses the diamond there. And then the one that goes on the car, because of course there is, also uses one. Uh, what else can we make? Hydrazine, obviously. Silicone. Um, now, this fuel thing is a gas. And to do, to make a gas, we'll talk about that in a second. Um, that's how you make explosive powder, which is used for TNT. Glad there's now use for that. That's more um, useful in game, aside from just having fun. Um, we can make steel, titanium alloy, and nanocarbon alloy. This is the, whoo, that's the big boy. <laughs> that's quite a process. Um, and I'm going to try and automate it so that, the you know, I'll just put all the bits in and it'll just all make itself. So let's talk about the gases. In order to uh, produce gas, we need the atmospheric condenser here, which I've gone ahead and unlocked. 
And in order to make that, we need one plastic, which we can make in the chemistry lab. We need one glass, which we will smelt. I moved it over here. And one iron, which means we have to go to Novus. And we're going to do that next episode. Um, so thank you everyone for being here. I hope you've had a good time. Let's quickly make ourselves that glass and the rubber as well. And then we're going to look at Novus next episode. Sounds good. Nice. All right. Um, what do we need for the... It was rubber or plastic? Uh-oh, I've forgotten already. Plastic. We need one carbon and one compound. Well, let's pinch one of these bits of carbon and one compound, it said. So we get to enjoy this thing's delightful ping. So we can make one of them. It closes up. And this one's pretty cool in my opinion. Um, let's just quickly... Nice. Materials matter. And there's our plastic, which is quite a different looking resource. It's got the same shape as the resin, but it's white. Wow. Look how many missions we got. All right. Print a chemistry lab and create either rubber or plastic. We get a thousand bytes for that. And we need to produce a full gas resource. Excuse me. Why is that? What? <laughs> that, that's strange. Um, it's complete, I guess. Um, we will have, we will do this anyway, so I'm not too fussed about it. It's something we need to do to continue. Um, so what do we get? Unlock and print a packager, which we will do in a second anyway, because we're going to go to Nervous. Um, uh-oh. Print and fill medium, uh, landing pad on another planet. Create hydrazine. Create nanocarbon alloy. Um, print an RTG. That is what the nanocarbon alloy is primarily used for. And the RTG, as we know, we've already got two of them. Um, well, these little feather fellas right here. But they're bigger ones. They produce a lot more power. And they are, like, they just produce power for free. Um, which is pretty, pretty overpowered. Um, but we won't finish. There's just a couple just left to go through. 100 schematics, no worries. Find a core, unlock and print a probe scanner, and we'll get two more solid fuels. So that's, we'll do that in a second. And that's to go to DeSolo. So we'll do that as well next episode. We're going to track that one, and we're going to track that one, and we're going to do that one as well. Sounds good. Nice. Sounds good to me. Um, what were we just going to re- uh, we are going to research something really quick. Uh, a probe scanner. Alright. Probe scanner. It needs one steel, and that is expensive. Alright. So we gotta make a steel. So we gotta figure that out next episode as well. Alright. Take care, everyone. Bye.